Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the first edition of Kyle Eats What. Um, basically, uh, what I eat throughout an entire day. Um, so my first meal, it's about 8 o'clock. Um, just waking up, weighed myself in. I weighed in at 194.3. So weight's going up, so that's good. Um, my first meal is pretty light. I do, this is really like the same meal I eat in the morning every single day. Um, it's just three things. It's Kashi Go Lean, which if you guys haven't tried this, this is a really good cereal. It's got pretty decent macros on it. It's got let's see, 140 calories for 52 grams. I do two servings, so I'm right at 280 calories with that. Um, there's only 60 carbs in two servings. 10 grams of fiber per serving, guys. That's a lot of fiber. So I get 20 grams of fiber just in the morning. Um, then I got 13 grams of protein per serving. So there's 26 grams of protein in in these two servings. Um, that's a lot of protein to be getting from cereal. So I, it really covers all your bases. You get a little bit of fat in there, 2 grams of fat, nothing crazy. Um, nice amount of carbs and nice amount of protein. So, so I go ahead and do two servings of that. Put my put my bowl on the scale here. This is a, a you guys got to get a digital scale. There's nothing like it. So you can switch from you can switch from grams to ounces to milliliters, fluid ounces, and then we're gonna be measuring in grams today. So let's see, I got 52 grams per serving. I'm going to go with 104 for two servings. Oh, 107, it's a little high. There we go flashing right there between 104 and 105 so that's perfect on that now what I go ahead and do is just zero it out zero back over here zero that out my banana I'll weigh it now and then I'll weigh the peel after and I'll know how much it weighed so that's how I do that and then I have plenty of room in my diet for real milk but I don't like I'm not a fan of milk anyways so I just go with this pure almond stuff and it is really really good I got I actually just started drinking it on my last cut and I haven't switched back so this stuff's really good I do only a half a serving oh and notice how much cereal is in there that's a that's a pretty hefty bowl of cereal most you don't get that big of a serving. Um, so I do half a serving of this. So I'm going to go for 200 and, or I'm sorry, 120 milliliters. It's only, it's less than, so that's going to be a half a carb and half a gram of protein and like one and a quarter grams of fat. So really there's like nothing in this, but it's, but it's not like drinking water. So this out. Let's see if I got enough here. So I'm going for a hundred and oops. Gotta switch it to milliliters. Going for 120 here. Oh. That's terrible. Alright. Don't worry guys, I have another one. Quick glimpse inside my fridge here. Most of this stuff is my wife's, that's my wife's. Oh, uh, this is really good. We'll go over this stuff later when I eat it. Uh, uh, Alright. Yeah. 
sorry. I'll try to improve on my camera work. This is sort of complicated. So I'm at 99 right now. I got to get to 120. So going for 120 here. Good job, Donnie. Oh my god. 130. Pour some out. Man, this is this is getting sloppy. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stick with the 130, and I'll just adjust it. So that's my first meal, guys. Um, I will get you guys my next meal when I eat. Take it easy. What's up guys, Kyle with Kyle Lee and Gaines Bodybuilding. I forgot to show you guys what supplements I take in the morning. Um, this is my current supplement stash. I keep them all on top of my fridge, nice and readily available. Um, so first off, two vitamin C's. Put those in there. A couple of vitamin C's. I, I put all my pills in here because it gets... There's a lot of them. <laughs> um, do a couple of these chondroitin, MSM, glucosamine deals. I, I don't know. I, I, I've heard there's a study or a few studies that say these are, are, um, are worthless, but I don't know. I guess peace of mind. <laughs> I take two of those. Um, I also get my vitamin D3s in right now. These are these are the 5,000 I use. Uh, it's what my coach recommended, Coach John Otis Hollywood. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about him before. Best coach ever. Um, these are 5,000 I use. They're, it's really important to get vitamin D. Oops. I don't want three. I don't want two. I don't want one. See, so yeah, look how tiny those are. Those little little baby pills. Really, really crucial. Especially in the winter months. You get no vitamin D from the sun in the winter, obviously, because there is no freaking sun. And if there is, you're not outside because it's too cold. At least that's how it is in Michigan. You people that live down south, I hate you. Um, these are just some leftover vitamins I've had for a while. I do two of these. Just a general multivitamin. I definitely recommend... Everyone taking the multivitamin. This shit is hard one-handed. Right. So I got my two multivitamins in there. Oh, shit. What's that white pill doing down there? <laughs> Alright, I fished him out. Sorry guys, this camera work is hard one-handed. So that, I then get one choline. Choline is good for your brain. Keeps you, uh, you thinking clearly. One choline. Let's see. A few more things up there. Nothing nothing too crazy. These are these are I wouldn't consider these really supplements. They, this batch. This batch is more um, vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. K2. This is another one that is supposed to be um, one of the most commonly deficient vitamins in people so I just started taking these just just one of those and these again really tiny pill they're not they're not expensive and if you're deficient in it it can cause some issues another one I take is B complex um, B. 
This is another one good for energy. I'm sure you guys all heard of B12 for energy. This is a B complex. It has a bunch of B's in it. Um, I will also then, this is just right now, I, I haven't been doing this long. I take two scoops of Anotest. Um, I've heard some good things about it from Mark Lobliner at Tiger Fitness and also <clears throat> Vanbra at Bro Fitness. So I've been giving that a shot. I just got done with my um, test powder. I, got, I used a month supply of that. I'll put a link up there so you guys can check out the video for that. But I'm giving this Anno test a shot here and I will let you guys know how it works after I'm done with the month of it. So that's that's that for my first round of supplements. There's two more. <laughs> um, and Oh, I'm sorry. It's not it. Mm. Can't forget Omegas. Um, I do two of these right now, and then I'll do two two more later. So that's my pill intake for the morning. And I will talk to you guys next time. All right, so I just got back from the gym, guys. Um, this is my second meal I'll be eating today. It consists of one serving of spinach one serving of this stuff here this is a it's a low calorie um, yogurt dressing really really good stuff here um, two tablespoons has only 2.5 grams of fat 45 calories three carbs and two protein so those are some good macros for um, for a dressing um, that this right here will go on the spinach um, got some whole wheat thin spaghetti that I put I, I used uh, four ounces of this so that's two servings um, extra virgin olive oil for um, for the spaghetti I use two thirds of a tablespoon of that reduced fat parmesan cheese I do one serving of that and I put all, all that together also pumpkin seeds um, these pumpkin seeds are really really good they're not the crappy white ones you get at the gas station these are from Trader Joe's I do a serving of those and I eat the whole seed um, it's all good for you then this is the salmon that I'm talking about we get uh, chipotle brown sugar and the black pepper um, here's the macros on that it, it's high as shit in sodium so if you guys worry about your sodium I would not suggest this but the uh, it's delicious so that's everything that's going to be in this meal and this is what it all looks like so this is my spaghetti with olive oil and parmesan and some cracked pepper two ounces of pumpkin seeds one serving of um, spinach 85 grams with one serving of dressing on top and some more pepper and then this is that salmon if you guys like salmon this is the shit um, and I'll also be taking a couple probiotics and then my water so that's everything for my second meal um, it, this one's a lot bigger for me than my first one my first one I eat light because I usually go to the gym right after um, and then now I get to eat a lot more because I'm always hungry coming back from the gym so I'll get you guys on the next meal alright so it's five, right around five o'clock right now um, I'm getting my third meal right now and that is gonna be a pretty small meal because as you guys saw my last meal was huge and I'm actually still pretty full from that but I need to get some food in me so I have one scoop of chocolate whey and I'm gonna do two servings of this here Breakstone 2% Kai's cheese it's 30% less sodium too so in case you guys are worried about sodium which I'm really not 
um, this would be a good option for you. So I'm going with two servings of that, which is. One hundred and seventeen grams per serving, two and a half grams per fat of fat per serving, only six carbs and ten grams of protein. So this is going to be a pretty high protein meal. Um, it's going to be right around forty five grams of protein right now. A little bit of carbs and a little bit of fat. So I will go ahead and get this all weighed out. I'll eat this and then I'll have I'll have one more meal and I will show you guys that when I come back. Alright, so this will be my last meal of the day. It's um, about 6.30 and you guys are probably wondering why I have so many carbs left and not too much else. I got some fats left too, but not a whole lot of protein. And this is really where I start um, incorporating the IIFYM if it fits your macros or flexible dieting, whatever you want to call it. Um, for my last meal, it's going to be popcorn. 127 and a half grams of this, which is a pretty big bowl. It'll fill up the majority of this bowl here. Probably about, about three quarters of that bowl. Um, I put butter on my popcorn. Sometimes I do olive oil. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um, I'm putting two and a half tablespoons of butter on there and then boom Mike and Ike Cherry Bubs I will eat this entire box and that will fill up my carbs so when it comes to IIFYM I am a big fan um, I definitely think it makes dieting easier and it's something good to play with I would suggest though not to get the majority of your calories from uh, crap foods or what I what I like to call crap foods because Mike and Ike's are not very good <laughs> um, so yeah get the majority of your foods from whole food or get the majority of your calories from whole foods and nutrient dense foods that way you'll stay full longer and you'll also get the micronutrients that are very crucial too that's why you see me eat the banana and the um, the spinach to get everything that I need because vitamins aren't enough to get that for you. You want to get a lot from your actual foods too. So that's uh, the first episode of Kyle Eats What and hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video be sure to like it, comment, and subscribe and I will talk to you guys next time.